How to reset the breakaway torque limiter on your Moorbark Woodhog horizontal grinder. If encountering a containment while grinding that trips the breakaway torque limiter, here is how to reset it to get your machine back up and running. The tools you will need to complete this task include a 9 16th inch wrench or socket, a rubber mallet, a breaker bar, a step ladder, your lockout tag out. Upon tripping the breakaway torque limiter, the following procedure should be followed. Before beginning, ensure that you and anyone else who will be performing maintenance on the equipment is wearing the proper personal protective equipment. This includes a high visibility safety vest, a hard hat, ear protection, and OSHA approved safety glasses with side shields. All clothing should be close fitting and tucked in. Wear a good pair of work pants and a good pair of steel toe work boots with non-slip soles. Proper fitting leather work gloves are also recommended to protect the worker's hands. Before beginning, it is also important that you make sure that the work area on and around the equipment is free of debris and trip hazards and that the equipment is on level ground. Before operating or performing any maintenance on your equipment, it is imperative that you complete the correct startup and setup procedures. Doing so not only ensures the safety of you and your crew, but it will extend the life of your machine and keep it running at its best. Begin by reviewing the control panel of the machine. Ensure that the torque limiter trip message has appeared, the engine has been idled down, and the clutch has been disengaged. Reverse the feed works as desired to back out any unwanted material. Make sure all the hydraulic control valves are in the neutral position. Warning! Ensure that the rotor has come to a complete stop before performing any maintenance. Failure to do so can result in serious injury or death. Locate the hood and yoke controls and turn the yoke up selector switch clockwise or to the right to raise the yoke. Once the yoke is raised, continue to hold the selector switch in the up position while simultaneously turning the yoke lock selector switch clockwise to engage the yoke locks. With the yoke up and lock pins engaged, shut down the machine. Perform the standard lockout tagout procedure. Next, on the side of the machine, locate the drive belt shield. Using the 9 16th wrench or socket, unbolt the belt shield cover and open or remove as required. Inspect the torque limiter and verify that the elements have released and that the alignment grooves are out of alignment. Now you will need to inspect the hammer mill. Safely enter the infeed and verify that both yoke locks have fully engaged the yoke wheel before entering the grinding chamber. Use caution when entering infeed and inspecting the hammer mill, as damage may have occurred. Visually inspect the hammer mill and grinding chamber for damage and debris, and clean out all excess material from the grinding rotor, noting any damaged components. Warning! Use extreme caution when inspecting the hammer mill. Various pinch points between components can cause serious injury. If any components of the grinding rotor or grinding chamber have been damaged, repair these items before continuing any further operation of the machine. Once all items have been repaired and debris clear of the mill, slowly rotate the mill in the reverse direction using the breaker bar to ensure that there are no obstructions between the inserts and grates. Warning! Use extreme caution when rotating the hammer mill and keep hands and loose items away from the rotor. Once the mill is free and clear of damage and debris, safely exit the infeed and check for any tools or chains that may have been used. Using the breaker bar, rotate the torque limiter counterclockwise until the grooves are aligned. Using the rubber mallet, strike the end of the plunger, resetting each of the elements. If there is any debris inside the belt shield, be sure to clean it out. Also, remember to regularly grease the plunger and zerts or grease ports located inside the belt shield. Finally, close or replace the belt shield. Verify all personnel and tools are clear of the machine and remove lockout tagout. Start machine and verify there are no fault codes on the home page and clutch information page. Return to the yoke controls and turn the yoke up selector clockwise to raise off of the yoke locks and simultaneously turn the yoke lock selector switch counterclockwise to retract the locks. Once retracted, let go of selector switches. The yoke will lower under its own weight. Once the yoke has fully lowered, engage discharge belts and engage the clutch. 
verify that the machine is running smoothly and that the contaminated material has been removed from the grinding area. Your machine is now ready to continue operation.